former vice president of Nigeria and presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, has promised to promote the creative arts sector of the nation. If elected as president in the two 2023 elections, Atiku, in a stakeholder meeting with practitioners in legal state, said he will create an endowment fund for the industry to thrive. Aibuji Korea tells us more. <laughs> Espas, an creative industry covering music production, filmmaking, fashion design, broadcasting, and digital art, took the presidential candidate of the PDP, Atikwa Bubaka, down memory lane on the issues that kept the entertainment industry at a poor state of development. Speaker after speaker lamenting lack of funding for the industry. They said despite government policies to promote the industry, several administrations, except that of former President Goodluck Jonathan, had paid lip service to the activities of the industry despite its enormous ability to turn the fortunes of the country around. With music and move to film and broadcasting, each discussion leader will present themselves, they will introduce their works, they will go into challenges first, and then they will end on the opportunities that are available between the creative and cultural sectors and our governmental spaces. And the key challenges that we've dealt with, when I got into the space, the major challenge was piracy, physical piracy. Alaba was, had, had us, you know, by, by the throat. Uh, government intervention was, was minimal. Mm -hmm do not have a, the right enabling environment to make so, so many things happen. It's difficult, especially when you want to do something really, really major. And I would actually say that if the, the incoming government will look at the creation of the National Endowment Fund for Arts, because even in America, where you have Hollywood, there's still the National Endowment Fund. Responding to the issues raised, former Vice President and Presidential Candidate of the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, said if elected as President, he will promote the industry and ensure funding for it. Atiku said the Central Bank of Nigeria has no business in the management of the Endowment Fund for the Creative Industries. After agriculture, the topic remains the same. But then, how do we support the creative industry to achieve those objectives and to internationally compete, you know, with other parts, you know, of, of the world? We discussed extensively, and more than last electoral season, we had presentations from the various uh, aspects, you know, of the creative industry. Fantastic presentation. We talked about us believing in our nation. That exactly is what I found in each and every one of you that spoke. The passion not just to succeed for your businesses, but the passion to grow jobs and the passion to make things work in Nigeria. And that truly is very, very good for our nation. We will defend our land, he said. That exactly is what you're doing. Despite the challenges, a lot of you could have checked out. Somebody else said Jack Brown, but you decided to stay back to build this nation. We have an opportunity in an Atikwa Baka presidency to do just that. High point of the event was a mini silence for the legendary gospel artist Sam Uposo, popularly known as Well Wellu Master, who lost his life recently. I, Boji Horia, reporting for Ibrahim TV News.